this is Jodina Meehan, and I am at Cymatica Studios today uh, answering some questions about cymatics. Uh, one of the questions that I've come across often is, how does it work? Uh, so yes, um, it, it's obvious that if you take a plate and play it with a violin bow or, um, or vibrate it with some other means, such as a very loud speaker or um, uh, a uh, oscillator or a frequency generator, um, you'll see patterns appear in the uh, particles on the plate, whether it's sand or um, salt. And But how, how does that happen? Why, why are there patterns graded on the plate is the first question. Um, the, the simplest answer to that is that um, when you're vibrating the plate with sound, the, the plate is resonating, uh, the, the very molecules of the plate are resonating uh, to the sound. And what, and, and what that, how that works is that um, parts of the plate are vibrating, parts of the plate are not. And um, because if you look at um, something like steel or glass under a microscope, you'll see that it's made of geometric structures, little geometric platelets that all fit together. Um, uh, for example, graphite is made of a um, six-sided or hexagonal um, uh, series of geometric structures, and uh, something like kaolin, um, which pottery is made out of, is also, if you look at it under a microscope, made of six-sided or hexagonal little platelet structures. Um, so there's geometry um, inside of something like a steel plate that uh, we can't see unless we look at it under a microscope, but you can also see it by putting sand or salt on it and uh, seeing that it resonates and creates geometric patterns. Um, and uh, the, the basic reason that it does that is that parts of the plate, as I said, are still and parts are vibrating. And so when you're looking at a pattern of, um, of salt or sand on the plate, what you're actually looking at is uh, where the plate is not vibrating or uh, uh, not resonating because the uh, if you imagine the uh, parts of the plate vibrating the salt is not going to stay where the plate is vibrating it's going to go to the points at which the uh, the plate is actually still and not vibrating or at least not vibrating as much so it's going to go to the the stillest part of the plate so when you're looking at a pattern you're actually seeing the stillness and you're not seeing the motion. Um, and uh, Eric Larson uh, talked with me about this um, when he was showing me how to create cymatic plates. Um, and one of the things that he mentioned as well is that um, one of the reasons that uh, he, he enjoys um, cymatic patterns in water is that um, it's actually, it's easier to see the, uh, the, the parts of the design that are vibrating. Um, so the way that he creates patterns with um, photographs through water that is vibrating, um, it allows you to see the, um, the actual vibration is what you're looking at rather than the stillness. Um, and I think both are interesting, um, and, uh, I think that's it. So, how does it work? Why do you see, um, uh, these geometric patterns, uh, when you vibrate a plate? That's the simplest description I could come up with.